Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from AzureAutomation.com and welcome to another video for SpecFlow video series. And in this video, I'll be talking about step argument transformation of SpecFlow. Step argument transformation. What is this all about? So step argument transformation can be used to apply a custom conversion step to the arguments in step definitions. And the step argument transformation is a method that converts from text, which is a text which can be specified by regular expression or whatever, or a table instance to the arbitrary .NET type. And this exactly is going to be helpful while we are going to be working with an automation testing scenario where we would like to convert a particular step to a specified type. So a step argument transformation is used to convert an argument if the return type of the transformation is the same as the parameter type and the regular expression matches the original arguments. So I'll probably tell you all these theoretical aspects in an example, which is going to look something like this. And as you can see here, in this particular step of this particular scenario, we have got this and I input dynamic domain for karthik at takeik.co.in. What I'm trying to say here is that I need to have a dynamic domain name for karthik at takegeek.co.in instead of the takegeek.co.in. I want it to be like an example.com or example.net or example.org, something like that. I want to keep changing the domain name every time so that I don't register the user with the same domain name. I mean, I'm going to use the name as karthik, but I wanted the domain name to be changed every time I run the step. That's exactly what I wanted, which we can probably do that using the step argument transformation. So this input value is going to be automatically being transformed into a specific string type that we wanted to. And then we are going to be using some random data generator to use that domain name generation that I was talking about into our step. So all these magics we are going to be discussing in this particular video. So let's get started. All right. So if you remember in our last video, we were discussing about this auto fixture library where it helps us to actually create this user with a dynamic data every time it keeps generating for us. And then we used to use the same data for our data input or anything that we are going to be using. But as of now, we are using this console.write line to perform those operations. And that's exactly the same idea we are going to be using even for the random domain name generation that we are going to be doing. But just that we are going to be using step argument transformation to do that for us. So as I showed you on the example, I'm actually going to be writing a step definition, something like this, and I'm going to write the step definition for us. So I'm just going to go define a step. This is all usual like we used to do. I'm going to copy this step and I'm going to go to this user step definition. I'm going to paste this over here. And you might be wondering that what is the big difference between both of them over here? So all I'm going to be doing basically is I'm going to be replacing that pretty quickly with the Karthik at techgeek.co.in that we are seeing over here to regular expression. So I'm just going to do dot star of email, something like that. This email address is going to be the email address, which I'm going to be transforming over here. So string email. And I wanted to print this particular email. So I'm just going to do the console dot write line, the email address, the random email, and I'm going to get this email. So this is what I wanted to print. But at the moment, if we try to run this particular test, it is not going to do anything magical for us. I mean, it's going to print exactly whatever value that we are seeing over here, like karthik at in email. So it's going to print exactly whatever that you are seeing over here. So there is not going to be a big change going to happen at the moment if you try to run this particular test. But we need to transform this email address to a specific uh, email address that I was talking about. So in order to do that, we are going to create a new folder here. I mean, you can just let it go, but I'm just going to create for the best practice. I'm going to say transformer and within this transformer, I'm going to be writing our custom transformers, which is going to be the email transformer. And in this email transformer, uh, let's make this as public and also let's make this as binding so that the spec flow can understand and we are going to be creating a method here. I'm going to call this as public string generate dynamic email. I mean, you can give whatever name that you want to, but I'm just uh, giving it over here for the understanding purpose. And then I'm going to say email address, something like this. That's it. This is the method name. 
and it is going to actually perform a random email address generation for us so i'm just going to say string dot empty for now i mean we we have to do those logic things which we'll do it in a minute but for now let it be and this method the generate dynamic email address should be decorated with a all new attribute which is nothing but the step argument transformation so this is the one which is going to do the magic for us so this is going to tell the step that if we are going to have a string which is going to match the attribute with a value something like dot star of the email that we have in our step over here this guy something like this then you invoke this particular step argument transformation so it's more like an event driven kind of things because so if that event is going to happen then it is going to be triggered for you something like that and now the last piece of logic that we wanted to do is to actually generate the random address right so in order to do that uh, i'm just going to do this private string get random domain something like that and this random domain is going to be returning as a new fixture remember this new fixture this is nothing but the auto fixture uh over here using the auto fixture and this one i'm gonna call a create of the mail address so this mail address is going to be coming from the system.net.mail this one and it has a property called as host if i'm not wrong this one so this one is the one which i really wanted for my email address to be returned so let me return this one and we can also shorten this method a bit something like use expression body member and over here now what i can do is because this email address is going to be coming with an at symbol because it's going to be like karthik at techgeek.co.in i could potentially split the email address like using the split method if you remember split and i'm going to be splitting based on the delimiter which is nothing but the at delimiter uh, and I'm gonna be saying okay the zero is actually the name and I wanted the name I don't want the address rather I'm actually gonna get the random domain so I'm just gonna be like concatenating it that's it this is the one thing which I wanted to do over here so I use the expression body member and you will see that this method is also ready for us so now you will see that this generate dynamic address is going to be generating the dynamic address for us by getting the first part of the email which is nothing but the karthik and then it is going to append a dynamic random domain name using this fixture with the auto fixture of mail address of host something like that that's it that's the only thing which i'm going to be doing over here so let's see how this actually is going to work so now i think we have uh, did all the wire up using the step argument transformation so everything is quite good right now so try to go to the uh, probably the step which is nothing but the user step definition sorry user feature so you can see that it is now mapped so if i go to the definition it is going to go up for us over here so let's put a breakpoint here even before executing it i just wanted to see how this is going to run so i'm going to debug this test and i will show you how this test is going to be doing all those magic of random transformation so you will see that right now the email is already transformed into karthik example.com i mean this is wrong right like this has to be like karthik at example.com so i missed that at part probably i need to uh, add that part but you will notice that now there is a new domain name like karthik example.com which is good so there is a transformation going on but the email address is not quite right so let me go to the uh, email transformer once again and over here i also need to put a uh, double quotes of probably at and the random uh, domain name which is good uh, yeah that's it so now you will see that if I try debugging this test, I don't know if I did the debug overrun. 
yeah it's run actually so you will see that there is a karthik at example.com and now this is like a random email address already like a random domain name already so if i go to the user feature and if i try doing a copy paste of all the different uh probably email addresses and if i try running this test you should see that the random email address is going to be different each and every time like karthik at example.com example.net example.net example.org something like that so you can see that this is now dynamic so every time i do the step argument transformation it is going to be a dynamic email address for me so this is something you can utilize for many different things for example in real time use cases you might have a step which is going to say that given i log in as an admin user so this admin detail you don't want to expose within your step definition but you wanted to do some logic to get the user details from the azure directory and do something like the secret manipulation and get the user credentials automatically from the step argument transformation and get the actual user details back to your code those things you could do using the step argument transformation so you can do all sort of magics behind the scene but for the user in this scenario you are just going to be showing given i log in as an admin user that's it but all the complexity you're going to be doing behind the scene in the argument transformation that's it guys this is how we can use this step argument transformation to do a lot of different magics for us and this is quite interesting once again thank you very much for watching this video and you guys have a great day